Right, so as you can see, I am at Zenit. I say, as you can see, I'm wearing blue. That's enough of an indication. But I am at Zenit St. Petersburg now. I am the new manager. Uh, for those of you who've been following the Master League streams, you will have seen this, and I've been talking quite a lot lately about wanting to leave Arsenal for a new challenge. And uh, we made it happen. In the end, we did it. We uh, we had a few offers. We had some good offers. Liverpool and Man City both wanted to give me the job. I didn't want to leave Arsenal and then just go and do the same thing again in the Premier League with more money. Um, there's no challenge in that. Didn't want to go to Club Bruges. I was considering Roma. Um, a few people thought Roma would be a good move, but because I'd already put in a negotiation with Zenit, I would have had to rescind that and hope that the Roma one went through in enough time. There wasn't enough time to do it. Zenit was a team that I wanted anyway, and I'm happy to be here. And um, yeah, we had a lot of transfer business to do. So, of course, we have got CSKA Moscow to play in the Russian Super Cup. And this is the squad that we've got going into this. Of course, we've got that marquee signing of Martin Odegaard, who is just absolutely incredible. I mean, look at those stats. Uh, the main issue, of course, is that our team spirit is at a very low 59. I've changed the tactics a little bit to try and help that. And also just to kind of work around the way I think this squad is going to play. As you can see, it's pretty similar to my old setup with a few tweaks. Um, Lookman, I'm expecting to come in from the flanks and do bits. Driussi is the centre forward I want to build this team around. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, we've got pretty decent players in centre midfield as well, so no complaints there. And uh, this back line here, it needed some changing, definitely. We have got rid of three of the old players and brought in some new ones. Uh, Bernat, a pretty good signing, I believe. Fosu Mensa, I'm expecting great things from. He's playing at right back at the moment. There's definitely an opportunity for him to be playing as a centre back as well. But uh, he, can, he can deliver on all fronts. So I'm happy to have him here. Uh, Lunev is still our goalkeeper. Not 100% happy with that, but probably the least of our worries in terms of personnel. I want to make sure that the outfield is right first. And then if we do have some serious problems at the back, then, you know, I might have to look at alternative options. But I feel like in this league, Lunev is about as good as most of the goalkeepers in the league. So uh, not anything that I need to address too urgently, but something I may look to address in the summer. And now to pick our first actual starting lineup as manager of Zenit. And, um, this is probably going to be the hardest game I ever have to play with this team because none of them are on board with the tactics yet, per se. Uh, Odegaard's kind of feeling things, which is great. We're building the team pretty much around him and Driussi. Um, but beyond that, still got to convince a lot of these players. All right, I think that is pretty much the team I'm going to go with. Nothing left to do at this point, but to uh, get into it, let's do this. Zenit versus CSKA for the Russian Super Cup. My managerial debut in Russia. Let's do this. This is definitely a nerve-wracking one here. There you go, Martin Odegaard. Ready to make his debut. A straight in at the deep end against CSK. Uh, new danger man is wearing that number nine. Interesting choice of number for him. We've got to go with a four triple two formation. Hopefully, delivers the goods. The CSK in Moscow have gone with five at the back. And uh, Chalov leading the line on his own up top. We're expecting Lazaro and Kuchayev to get involved as well. 
But uh, they've gone for a safety first approach here. Let's see how well it serves them. And Zenit will get us underway here. Uh, I'm expecting this to be incredibly difficult. Uh, not only because of the poor team spirit here, but also just playing against one of, if not the most successful team in Russian history. Percy mentioned as well there. Now Odegaard, what can he do? Great dribbling already. Keeps the ball. Oh, unlucky. Tried to take on too many players, but... Great start to see him dribbling like that. Oh, brilliant play. Lazaro makes it 1-0. We knew we'd be getting involved in the attacks there, and oh, this is going to be so difficult for us. This TSK side is so solid. And just moments earlier, Erdegaard was weaving his way through this team. Great finish from Lazaro. Not much Lunev could do there. Golovin gets it into a dangerous area there. Oh, saved off the line. Just about. Juicy gets that to Erdegaard. And uh, Bruno with a good challenge to put it out for a throw in there. Uh, our ball winning ability in this side is next to none Lazaro oh, well done Fosu brilliant for Fosu Mensa. he's looked pretty solid at right back today I think I would definitely prefer him through the middle Composed play there from Dominico Cushito, Paredes. Cushito again finds Lutman. Back to Lutman again, turns past his man. Oh, what a great finish that is! And what a way to announce yourself. All eyes have been on Martin Odegaard, and Adam and Lutman comes and says, Hey, I'm here too. I mean business. And yes, he does. What a goal that was. Played the quick one too. Look at this. Got away from his player. Made the run. Got that one-two back. What a great touch. Fantastic touch to get that away from the defender. Open up space for him for the finish. A great through ball, by the way. Touch brilliant. Defender nowhere near him. Bends that into the far post. 1-0. And Adam Muller Lutman comes through with the goods 1-1 one, one, sorry Fernandez Chalov Lazaro Kuchaev oh thank god that went wide I tell you what the CSK side they're not to move the ball about very, very good team. For Sumenza. Into Bruno. Paredes. Finds Lutman. Bruno again. Out to Odegaard. Great touch. Shoots from there. Oh! That was a Messi-esque dribble there beat three players with ease and uh, we've definitely got a player on our hands here ball into Juicy couldn't quite get the header uh, Golovin gets that clear CSK now feeling the pressure oh, that through ball didn't quite make it through and at half time it's 1-1 Lazaro with an early opener and uh, Lukman pulled it back 
on 35 minutes with a fantastic bit of play from him. And uh, he's looking promising already. It's looking good. The Zenit side look decent. Everything's new to them. Everything's a little bit awkward at the moment. Still figuring out all the players. Figuring out everybody's strengths and weaknesses. But so far, we look pretty good. Now, Lookman. And uh, tried to find Juicy there. But Amate, a bit too solid for him. Ball into Odegaard now. Surely. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Makes it look easy. And the two new boys up top have delivered today. Lookman to equalise and Odegaard to put the team in front. And, uh, what a brilliant run from Odegaard that was there. Run that ball high up the pitch there. I think that was Lookman who won the header. Odegaard, quick as a flash, held off his man. He's not the strongest player, it's worth noting. Pointed where he wanted, took the touch brilliantly. Set himself up with his weak foot. And curled that under the body of the keeper to make it 2-1. And uh, now we are looking good. Lookman, out to Drewsy. Oh, brilliant from Drewsy. He wants to run from Odegaard, he's not making it. Oh, Odegaard needed to make that run a bit quicker. He wanted it short and into feet, but uh, just the little running behind the back line would have been perfect. Mamana again, incredibly solid at the back. Sabitzer. Finds Juicy. Odegaard. Oh, his <laughs> effort cleared off the line. He was bending past the goalkeeper, even though some sting had been taken off it. A couple of subs now. Sabitzer and Bruno coming off. Kuzjev and Eric Keane coming on to give us fresh legs in the midfield. Eric Keane combining with Kuzjev, the two subs. Ball out to Erdegaard. Uh, we do get a free kick. In a dangerous area here. Shenikov on his last warning as well. And we're starting to see some uh, some frustrated tackles coming in from the CSKA boys. Uh, Paredes is going to be the one to stand over this. I feel like Erdegaard. Nah. What we are going to do here is put that ball in short to Erdegaard. Who oh, almost drew the foul, almost got past his man in the end. Neither of those happened. Oh no, and Shenikov is in behind here. Great goalkeeping, come on! Absolutely brilliant goalkeeper. Just waiting for him to commit on that touch. Stepped out and literally off the elbow for the save. Now let's defend this corner. Let's get that out. Jagger's going to chase that down. Erdegaard's getting there first. Oh, he's done too much. Jagger's picked that up. And Fosu Mensa, solid as ever. And wins the throw in. And they're really diving in on Erdegaard here. Not giving him a moment's breath. Now Erdegaard. Just running through this defence here. Oh, and the last man. We're going to see plenty of those ones this year. That is almost a certainty. Mamana. He can hold on to this here. Kushita. Paredes. Who has been absolutely outstanding today. Fosu Mensa, also man of the match candidate. Oh, Dreesy tried to find Erdegaard there. But that is enough. 
Zenit with the win. Uh, pick up a victory and a trophy in my first game. First game as Zenit manager. Beat CSK in Moscow in style. A brilliant comeback victory for the boys. And uh, I could get used to this. I definitely get used to this. It wasn't easy. That's for certain. It definitely was not easy. And uh, everyone goes in. Congratulates Lunev on essentially his match winning save. Brilliant bit of goalkeeping from him there. And uh, we go and celebrate with the fans. And in the end, yeah, we definitely looked to the part clinical in front of goal. Every shot on target, two of them going in, controlling possession. It'll be interesting to see if we can keep this up throughout the season, but for now, we'll definitely take this win.